Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you like this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing what might be the best dive watch you've never heard of, or if you have, perhaps you've missed in passing how many virtues, innovations, and superlatives you can justifiably ascribe to this watch. This is the Jaeger Lecoultre Master Compressor Diving GMT, a limited edition of 1,500 pieces launched at SIHH 2007. It's a 45mm, 1,000m grade 5 titanium diver with JLC's best in the business vulcanized rubber titanium strap. Let's talk about the watch itself. On my 16cm circumference wrist, you can see it's big, but it's not a big bully. In grade 5 tie, it wears light. 44mm across the round of the case, not including compressor crown or crown. It's 16.2 millimeters thick, which is pretty much par for the course in the 1,000 meter and up dive watch class. Lug to lug, it's a reasonable 48.8 millimeters across the wrist, and the timepiece has a broad lug spacing of 22 millimeters. So if you wish to accessorize, and JLC does offer a great bellow style vulcanized rubber strap, you'd get 22 millimeters as your size. But I would say set it and forget it because this bracelet combines the best aspects of straps and bracelets in one. The lugs are short, stubby, and rather dramatically downturned. You can see they don't project far beyond the case, and so it's an easy watch to wear on a small wrist. I'd say, though it's a 44 millimeter watch nominally, you could wear this one on a wrist as small as 14 and a half centimeters circumference. The bracelet is a beautiful piece. Now we know they last because they've been around since 2007. I have yet to see one tear, delaminate, or otherwise decompose. As far as I'm concerned, these are built for the distance. You'll also note that with every single individual link removable, you can size this one precisely. JLC allows you to size on both both sides with all removable links. The idea behind the wrap of the titanium core was to have a lightweight titanium bracelet with the comfort of a strap. So you get that warmth of rubber against the skin, not the cold metal when you're jumping into the surf. And you have the same advantages of ventilating the wrist born of a well-designed bracelet because you can see the gaps that allow moisture, heat, oil, sweat, and grit to escape. The clasp is brilliantly over-engineered. You can see these little spring-loaded retention rods on both sides of the center block of the clasp, and the clasp with twin trigger action on both sides, so not twin trigger, quadruple trigger. This is anything but a cheap construction, but it allows absolute security when closed. Now you'll also note that there is a small Rolex EasyLink style micro-adjustment on each side of the clasp. So you can fine tune to the equivalent of one half removable link. Each one of these micro adjustments is equal to one half the width of a single removable link. Absolute security when closed, brilliant design regardless. This is one of the best clasps in the business attached to a bracelet whose superlatives I can only extol. The timepiece attached is not bad. A combination of sharp lines and grade 5 titanium, which is harder than 316 steel. It's a durable look, and you'll note thoughtfully finished. The sharp cleft between the lugs and the case band breaks up the mass of metal, and you'll note differential satin finish, not just a combination of polish and satin, that's there, but vertical satin finish on the lugs and longitudinal on the case flank. The feel of the bezel is best in the business. Along with the Panerai Luminor submersibles, this is as good as it gets for feel and for detent quality. It's like operating a Datagraph's chronograph pushers. It's just one of the best feelings in luxury horology. Now you will note that there is rubber inlaid for all of the numerals as well as the indices. The better to last and go the distance in their own rights, a luminescent triangle. There will be a loom shot. It will be spectacular that you can line up with the minute hand. Now you've got an impromptu zero to 60 minute timer, which I adore. Give me that over a chronograph any day of the week. The dial is all of a matte finish to reduce glare with maximally sized applied indices, absolutely gorgeous. You will note that the splashes of blue outboard on the Ray Hot as well as on the GMT scale and the constant operation indicator, that's what replaces constant seconds. You have this sweeping blue and white 
disk that runs across the dial at 6 o'clock, so you know the watch is running. That helps it to meet the ISO 6425 statutory regulation for the definition of a dive watch. There is a 24-hour GMT dial, and if you ask why you need a date or a second time zone on a dive watch, that's because you and I both know you're going to wear this to the office, not just the dive. So having that second time zone makes it practical, yes, but also the ultimate adventure watch. If you go to dive, for instance, at Bikini Atoll in the middle of the old A-bomb testing range to dive the wrecks, well, you'll know what time it is at home, thanks to that independent 24-hour format second time zone. You can drive the date forward or backwards as you cross the international date line en route to Bikini. You'll also note that the watch features, if I pull the crown, hacking or stop seconds, so you can stop the constant seconds indicator. The crown is secured by JLC's most robust compressor crown. So 1,000 meters when I turn it, completely accessible when I turn it half turn in the opposite direction. Blue you're through, white you're tight. It's even color coded for your convenience. Rubber wrapped crown for easy access even with wet sweaty or gloved hands and a very rich and sharp knurling on the edge of the bezel so you can grip it accordingly even when your hands are likewise wet sweaty or gloved. Now the Compressor crown system is ingenious because it's easier to use than a shouldered crown guard, and you'll find you never really need a crown guard in the real world. They just tend to frustrate your access to the crown itself. Underneath the Geosphere case back, you can see, beautifully double finished with a combination of circular satin and high polish, the Auto Tractor Caliber 975DD for dual time unidirectional winding with ceramic rotor bearings. 48 hour power reserve, 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate, hacking second, second time zone, and the auto tractor was designed based on JLC's experience during the 1990s when IWC used its caliber 889 ultra thin dress watch automatic in sports watches. That didn't work out, so the auto tractor was created for the next generation of JLC sports watches. Thicker, tougher, reprofiled train wheels, unidirectional winding with a free sprung balance and a full balance bridge. Everything about this movement was built for precision and toughness and it delivered as hardcore as anything you'll find inside a Rolex Sea Dweller or Submariner. It's also a piece of high horology, though you can't see it with the degree of hand finishing and true heat oxidized blued screws gracing its surfaces. It's a nicely made tank tough motor. Moreover, it's subject to the master 1000 hours control, which means that it has been tested to chronometry standards as a fully cased up watch. So water resistance, winding efficiency, power reserve, and yes, precision in multiple positions. You get all of that and more with the 29 Joule Auto Tractor 975D. You can see and you can purchase this polyvalent, multifaceted, and versatile dive watch, the most underrated diver in the business on the watch box. And we're back with the Master Compressor Diving GMT. As you can see, not only is the watch an absolute torch at night, but unlike some companies that give you only a spare, minimalist pearl on the bezel, this oversized solid chunk of Luminova is easy to read against the minute hand. You can also see by night the dial inspiration from the Polaris 68. That's right, before the tribute to Polaris, before the 50th anniversary Polaris collection of 2018, the Master Compressors and Master Compressor Diving series challenged the index, numerals, and hands of the old Polaris diver. Of course, we have the Calypso style hands here, so not the mainstream hands, but very much the indices and watch face we remember. A little bit of nostalgia amid modern technology. See it and make it yours on the watch box.